Hello, welcome to the Haas Tip of the Day, where we cover the topics that every Haas machinist needs to know. My name is Mark Terryberry, and today we're going to write a program that wraps our machining and engraving around the outside of a rotary part. Now you would think that you would need a powerful cam system in order to program a four axis part. But with just one line of code, Haas's G107 cycle, we can take a three axis program and wrap it around a cylinder, converting it to a four axis program. This is called cylindrical mapping. Now there are a hundred different ways to do this, but we're gonna show you one way that works all of the time. And we're gonna do it in four easy steps. Number one, we need to set the work offsets. Now we've placed our A-axis rotary on the right side of our table. I'm going to set my G54 X value at the left face of the part. That's just where I chose to program fun. Now what's important here is that we set the G54 Y value at the center line of our rotary axis. I use a probing cycle, Y web, to accomplish this. But you could have just indicated the front of the stock, the back of the stock, and then found the value in between those two positions, and use that for your Y. I've also chosen to set the Z at the top of my part. A lot of people program off the center of stock. I chose to program off the top for this particular part. Now we've talked about our work offsets. Now it's time to place our G107 into the program. But where in the program do we put it? This is important. And to show you this, we're going to go to the control. Here's my G107 line. I've placed it just after I positioned my tool in the Z. I've already brought my tool down to Z.1. And I've also already positioned my tool at Y0. It's just something that's safe to do all the time. Position your Y, position your Z, before you call up your G107. Now it's time for step number three. On the G107 line, I like to command a forward slash for a block delete. And we do this because it helps when we run our programming graphics. When I run my program in graphics with block delete on, we can see the entire machining, we can see all of the engraving. If we ran the same part in graphics with block delete off, all we would see is a line because the control has converted all of my y-axis moves into rotary moves, so you see nothing. That's why we put a block delete on our G107 line in order to see things happen in graphics. We've moved on to step three. Let's talk about our G107 line of code. It's not too bad. G107 is going to turn on our cylindrical mapping. A0 just means that we're using our A axis as opposed to the B axis. Because our G54 Y0 is set along the center line of the A axis, we're going to use Y0. For this typical setup, we're always going to use A0 and Y0. Finally, What's the radius of the cylinder that we're going to be cutting? Our part is 1.5 inch diameter, so we're using an R.75. Now it's time to cut apart. Part looks great. Fourth axis part programmed by hand. Let's go back to the board. In our program, we have to be sure to turn G107 off. And we usually do that after our tool has come up and off the part. So I've got G0, Z, 2.0. Then I call up a plain G107 to turn off cylindrical mapping. Now, we've taken for granted that you know how to use G47 engraving, but we haven't left you hanging. Click at the link at the bottom of your screen, and we've got programs and videos that explain the G47 cycle. We also have the program that we use today for G107. Thanks for letting us be a part of your success and for watching this Haas Tip of the Day.